Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, if you're new here, thanks for clicking on the video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. I can't tell you how much it means to me. Uh, today we are going to obviously do a get ready with me. I am using the Hip Dot palette that I got in um, one of my Busy Beauty hauls. Love Busy Beauty. This is the palette we're working with today. I wanted to do more um, black, silver, some blues. Um, I'm also going to be throwing in a couple of shades from the Golden Gatsby. This was my Ice Cream Beauty haul subscription box. We will be using the black and of course this is one of my favorite ones, the French 75. I like to lay that down on the center of my eyelid when I go in to do the brighter shimmery colors. But, um, like I was saying, I wanted to, um, just show you guys that, you know, colors aren't that uh, uh, scary. You know, I know when you look at this, this is some dark, dramatic colors. There's also some um, nice nude or neutral looks in here, but it's really, um, you don't have to be scared of it. So, and it is makeup. So at the end of the day, if you don't like it, wipe off the look and try again. So, um, I'm going to try to get you guys a little bit more centered here without dropping my camera. So, <clears throat> I do have on all my makeup, um, all my base, uh, highlighter, uh, contour, everything but my lips, and of course this eye done. So, we're going to go in with my favorite little um, Tetris brush. I know that's not the appropriate name for it. Um, but it is, you know, um, it's not fluffy and it's not super firm, but I love it for going in and building up the color on my outside of my eye. I'm going to be using my Jeffree Star mirror, um, just so I can try to get in as close as I can and still be able to look maybe down so you guys can really see what I'm doing. So the first color we're going to go into is, um, actually in the Golden Gatsby palette, and we're going to go straight in to this black color right here. That is what I'm going to build my base up with. Um, the name of the color is Speak Easy. I am going to go in fairly light-handed with that, of course. Tap, tap, tap. Get a lot of those colors off because we are working with a dark color. So, making sure you guys can see here all my wonderful hair out of the way and we're just going to go straight in and kind of lay down um, with a very light hand because this is a dark color just lay down a really nice uh, black shade there getting our base in and um we do, like I said, you do want to use a really light hand when you are um, working with the darker colors. Um, you can always add more, but you can't take it off. You just, you know, have to wipe it off and start again. So I am just um, going to use the rest of what's on the brush and just slowly windshield wiper motions here. And of course the circle motions on the corner of the eye and it will, these colors really do blend out really nice um, and easy. So when we have it right about there, um, I am going to go in uh, with my Glamour uh, Dolls uh, blender brush and I am going to hit that top of it and just get it really nice and blended out so that way we don't have a sharp um, you know or a blunt color right at the top but just blending that out nice it looks pretty good um, from that we're going to take our Tetris brush back and we're gonna go into the hip dot and I'm going to go right into this color right here. It is called Spirit. It's a really just deep, dark, navy color. Um, not loading a whole lot on my brush. Of course, tap, tap, tap. And we're going to go right back into the corner of the eye. And just do some circle motions. And get that color built up. And then back into windshield wipers. And because I'm going in with such a light hand, 
um, I will be dipping back into that shade. And tap, tap, tap. And going back in. I hope you guys are all having a really wonderful weekend. It's Saturday. Um, the sun is shining ever so wonderfully here. But the wind is like a hurricane out there. I don't know what it is. But we have had just nothing but wind storms the last, I don't know, like almost week here. It's been crazy. I do like to drag that color down um, just to build a nice foundation or a nice base. Um, I am going in with a different color on the bottom. So when you have your eye right about there um, with that navy color, I am going to go in and I did use this um, really beautiful sparkly blue called Ancient. I'm going to go right in there and it's going to be on my finger. Um, get a decent amount of color on there because you can always go back in. And this is where I'm going to be super professional again. Trust the process. And just lay that color down here. And I do lay a couple of these um, really shimmery colors on. Um, I really tried to build up that outer corner today just to get that really, you know, intense um, blue, black, silver color. I was really, just really wanting to work with some dark colors and do something that I could show you guys it wasn't as scary um, color to use. So, matching it up here. Um, I am going to go in just with a tiny bit of this tulum right here on the end. I know the um, camera is picking it up to be kind of a teal color, but it's really a, a very dark navy with um, black in it. You know, um, just like I said, a tiny bit on your finger will go quite a bit long ways here but I just want that intensity to pick up on that outer corner there along with the wonderful uh, shimmer of course got to have shimmer or glitter in it is an absolute must so when we get it right about there we're gonna go back in with our little Tetris brush and just very lightly do some circle motions and just kind of get that blended out a little better. I am going to drag it quite a ways on top of my eyelid just so the color kind of wraps around there. And I think that looks pretty good. Uh, we're gonna go back in with our blender brush, the Glamour Dolls. And we're just gonna blend out this corner really good. And I'm just barely going in with a really light hand. I'm just trying to get that really um, blended out quite well. So it does, you know, that will really blend in, you know, going out and in and then up to your uh, brow bone course dragging some of that color down and I did kind of come down far on each side of my eyelids I just wanted a really smoky um just really intense eye look today so when we've got it right there I am going to go back in with this um color right here I think it is ancient and I'm just going to put a tiny little bit on my finger and I'm just gonna go back in and lay that blue glitter back down um, so that it does match the other eye. And get that shimmer glitter going again. Take my Tetris brush and just ever so lightly touching it to blend it out. Okay, and right at there, we are gonna start building up <clears throat> our the cut crease area and going back into the Golden Gatsby palette and I'm going in with that French 75 
and I'm going to clean my finger off here. I'm going to go in with um, that color on my finger. And we are just going to lay it down here and get that color built up um, for the silver that I am going to put on there. Going back in with that same color on my finger and just dropping that color right down on my eyelid. Right about there, I am going to kind of dust a little bit of the fallout. And with this Tip Dot palette, there really is not, and the Golden Gatsby palette, there is really hardly any fallout, which is amazing because those are very dark colors. Um, and that is awesome. I know um, I've worked a lot with the BH Cosmetic Blueberry palette I have. Um, and I've only dipped into this Hip Dot palette a few times, but it is seriously a gorgeous palette and it is amazing to work with. Uh, going in with this silver color, Rain, putting that on my finger there, and we're just going to put that right across my eyelid. Kind of blending it in with that blue color. Getting clear into the corner of my eye. Gonna go back in with that same silver color. And just lay that color right down. Spot right there that I there we go. I want it to be just a little bit more intense. So with the look right here, I am going to take my Glamour Dolls blender brush and I'm just going to hit from the inside and just kind of go barely touching. Um, just kind of blend that out. Uh, come into this color a little bit because I really want to keep the intensity of the blue and um, silver and gray, where there's a definite, you know, it th those two colors are not blended in together. Wow, I absolutely cannot talk today. And I even have my um, chai tea and vanilla. So I, you know, I'm getting my caffeine in. I just don't know what my problem is. Okay, so with the colors right about here, I am gonna dust off where that silver kind of had a little bit of fallout. I am going to go in to my Ofer palette and I'm gonna grab the um, highlight, of course, the lighter color right here. And I am going to get that on my finger and lay it right on top of that silver to really bring out the the pop, the wow, the shimmer. I absolutely love doing this with these colors. It just, this highlight um, from Ofra is absolutely amazing. And I do just take my other finger that's um, got no product on it and just help, you know, blend the line between the two of those. So cleaning off my finger, I'm gonna take my e.l.f. little smudge brush here going into my hip dot palette and the color I use on my lower lash is this melt water right here it is an absolutely beautiful color and I just get a fair amount on my brush there and I go right in and lay it down and I do drag it into that blue just to get it where it's blended in a little bit, but yet, um, you know, you can definitely tell that it is a, a different color, but I really have been enjoying putting the different colors on the top and bottom. I'm gonna hit this eye over here a little bit. I wanted a little bit more color on that. Now taking my, this is a total just very, um, 
fine soft brush and I am going to go underneath this and blend it out here. So the look right there, I am going to hop off of here really fast. I'm going to throw on my lashes and I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. I got my lashes on. Um, I did put this um, white, what is this, LA Jumbo Pencil um, just down in my waterline. Since it is a dark color, I like to lighten that up, really make your eyes look more open. I did throw on some of this Marc Jacobs uh, lip gloss. As you can see, it's just a nice little hint of color. This is in Some Girls. Um, this was another product from my Busy Beauty haul. Um, but yeah, I am absolutely loving um, the look. I think it's great. I am wearing my same um, Ardell uh, Texturize in 575. Um, the Hip Dot Palette and the Golden Gatsby Palette. I think these are great. Of course, I threw in my Ofra, um, both as a highlighter um, on my cheeks, as well as, you know, kind of really popping that color out on top of my eyelid. Um, I just want to do another shout out. I am absolutely loving this product, this e.l.f. Um, Hydrating Booster Drops. It is amazing. It keeps my skin so hydrated, feeling absolutely not dried out anymore, which I love. It just helps everything, helps with your fine lines, helps with it all. But I really have enjoyed this look. Um, I will link everything down in my description box below. I do want to give a few shout outs. Emily D, you are amazing. You always come on and watch my channels. You guys have got to go check out her. She has a ton of videos posted, little shorts. Her music is great. The photography is amazing. Definitely check out Emily D. I will link her down in the description box. Tea Time Adventures, Teresa, you have been supporting me so much. You guys need to go back and support her. Definitely, she has a great channel. Connie, love you girl. Connie from up north. Definitely go check her out as well. I will link both of theirs, all three of theirs. Uh, description in the, um, the information in the description box below. Wow. And then Brittany. Brittany's chaos. Um, these four girls, they are amazing. They are so supportive. They always watch my videos. I always go and watch theirs. They are just amazing. If it wasn't for YouTube, I would have never known these wonderful women. So please shout out to all four of you girls. You guys are amazing. Um, again, their information will be in my description box below. Please, please, please go check them out. They are fabulous. Um, if you like this look, give me a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments, do you like it? Do you love it? Do you hate it? Do you want to see different colors? Um, I will be doing a, um, a falsy tutorial. Um, I've had that requested a few times. I just haven't gotten to it. And this actually, this color scheme was requested. So yeah, um, I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day, a fabulous rest of your weekend. Please, please, please give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. Um, be on the lookout for a collab between me, Connie, and Teresa, Tea Time Adventures, Connie from up north, and then Connie and I will have our giveaway that's coming up. So excited. But anyway, thank you guys so much. I appreciate all of your support. I appreciate you coming and watching these videos. I absolutely love making them. So yeah, until next time. Thanks. Bye.